Hey everyone, so I hope you guys had an awesome New Year's. I was debating what video to film for my first 2013 video, and I decided to film a top beauty products of 2012 video. So these are basically beauty products that I would definitely repurchase, and they're products that I've been using throughout the year of 2012. I have a few items for each category, so I'm just going to get started. So for eyes, my favorite pencil eyeliner is this Jealousness Waterproof Eyeliner, and this is a black one, and I've almost gone through the entire pencil. I like using this to tightline my eyes to make my lashes look more full. And my favorite liquid eyeliner is again by Jealousness. This is their liquid eyeliner in BK1. It's just a very vibrant black color. I don't know if you can see, but this is a felt tip brush and it's really great for um, precision if you want a cat eye. So for mascara, I have two favorites. This one is the Too Faced Lash Injection, and this one is more for volumizing, and this one is the Majolica Majorca Lash Expander Frame Plus. It just really lengthens your eyelashes and also separates them, so it doesn't clump up. And um, this, the Majolica Majorca one is waterproof, while the Too Faced one is not, but I usually only use... Um, waterproof mascaras. I just hate it when your mascara transfers throughout the day but this is the only non-waterproof mascara that I found that does not transfer throughout the day. Even when I sweat this one still stays on your lashes. So next this is my favorite product to use for the eyebrow. This is the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder in Black Gray and you get two powder colors a dark gray and a light gray and you get this wax. You also get this spoolie to comb your brows and you also get an eyebrow brush but um, I just had to throw that away because I just use this to fill in my brows. As for eyeshadow, I have to say my Naked palette. Um, I don't use all the colors in this palette. I use mo I use mainly the light colors. Probably the uh, first six colors I use almost on a daily basis. And the darker colors I don't really use because I don't really go out at night as much. So I don't really find a need to do smoky eyes. But when I do, I always use this palette. So my favorite colors in this is probably... Um, Sin is a great all over the lid color, Virgin is a great inner corners, Sidecar I like it for a little shimmer, and um, Half Bake I just love gold colors. So this is a great palette to invest in if you haven't tried any of the Urban Decay products. Definitely recommend the Naked palette. I'm deciding to get the Naked 2 palette during eye mask, so I'm really excited for that. So next are face products, and my favorite foundation is the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. This one is in 150 buff, and I just really like using this. The coverage is a medium to full coverage. It is buildable, but it doesn't cake up. I like using this on special occasions when I need a little more coverage than every day. And my favorite BB cream is the Leo Ali Beyond the Solution BB cream. This particular BB cream does not have SPF. Um, all my other BB creams does, but I always apply sunscreen before my foundation or my BB cream. If I go to school and if I need a little coverage, I just apply the BB cream instead of a foundation. It's just way lighter and it makes my complexion brighter. It gives it a really nice dewy finish. It just makes me look youthful and my skin looks really healthy and glowy. So I like this. Um, for concealer, I have two. This one is the Sonia Kashuk Hidden Agenda Concealer Number no. 7. It has three concealer shades and a powder. And you can basically mix these concealers to match your skin. Also, I like this BH Cosmetics Jumbo Concealer Pencil. It's a pencil concealer for any spot treatments. It's really creamy. It glides on really well. If you have anything you want to conceal on your face, I just use this because it's lighter than the Sonia Kashuk. The Sonia Kashuk is a tad bit heavier because it is pretty creamy and it is buildable so um, I tend to use this only for my under eyes and the BH Cosmetics for any spot treatments. My favorite powder is this Luvu Crystal Mineral Pact. It's a Korean brand and it's a pressed powder in shade in number one. They have two shades, one and two, and they give you a little puff. And I just press it onto my face on top of my BB cream or foundation and it just reduces like shine and oil. And throughout the day my face doesn't look cakey and it gives, um, it leaves a semi sheen to it. It is, it's not dewy, it's not matte, it's like in between. My favorite bronzer is the NYC Sunny Bronzer. You can purchase this at any drugstore. It's probably only 2 $3. This is a completely matte brown shade. But it doesn't make me look muddy or dirty, and I just really like using this for contouring, you know, the hollows, my cheeks, my temples, and my jawline. My favorite blushes are from Face Shop. I have two. This one is a orange shade in OR202. This one is a pink shade called PK102. So these are just really great blushes for every day. These are matte blushes. They're really pretty. I just really like them. Um, they're pretty. They're pretty buildable, and I just really like the colors it gives on my cheeks. 
My favorite highlighter is this Motives Shape and Sculpt Duo. It's actually a duo, so it has a highlighter and bronzer combined, but I basically only use this highlighter. It just makes your skin look really healthy and glowy and really radiant, and there are no shimmers in it, so it doesn't look sparkly. There's no sparkles in this highlighter, so it looks really nice and really natural. Unlike the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish, which I also like, but sometimes if I put too much on my brush, it just looks too shimmery, so um, I like using this. Even if you have a lot on your brush, it doesn't look unnatural, it doesn't look too shimmery. And my favorite lip balm is this Sugar Lip Treatment SPF 15. This is the um, just the lip balm version. It smells like sugar, this smells really good, I just want to eat it. Um, this is a sample size that I received on my birthday last year. I really like this treatment, it makes my lips really soft, and it makes my... Um, Lipstick lasts longer and it glides on way better. My favorite lipstick is this MAC Lipstick in Ravishing. It's a cream sheen formula. It's this really gorgeous, like, peach corally color. Um, you know I love my corals and my peaches, and this is just an awesome everyday color. Um, if I want some color on my lips, I definitely do grab this color the most often. It's just a really natural color. I have this on my lips right now underneath a um, OCC lip tar. I read on a lot of Korean blogs. Or I've seen pictures. Their number one MAC lipstick is Ravishing because it's just a really complimentary color for a lot of skin tones. These are my top three brushes. The first two are um, powder brushes or they're just multi-use brushes. This is the e.l.f. powder brush. Um, you can get it at Target. It's $3 and it's a flat top brush so it's really good for applying your foundation or if you want to um, contour with it, if you want to apply powder. It's just a great multi-use brush especially since it's only $3. So this one is the Real Technique Expert Face Blush. I use this to apply either my BB cream or my foundation. It just buffs out my foundation and it makes it really flawless looking. I really like it. There are no streak lines. And um, I actually received this at a style haul party I went a couple of weeks ago. This was in the goodie bags and I've been using it ever since. My favorite brush to apply blush or highlighter is this Mustave Powder Brush. I use one side to place blush on my cheeks and the other side for highlighter. The bristles are just really soft and it doesn't poke my skin, it just makes it really nice to apply makeup on. So that is basically it for this video. So these are basically the products I've been loving throughout the entire year 2012. They're just amazing and I definitely do recommend them. One of my New Year's resolution was to film more videos for you guys and to upload way more often. I am definitely going to try to keep on track of making more videos. I'm going to have at least one video every week if not more. Um, let me know what your favorite products of 2012 are in the comments below. And I'll be sure to refer to them if I ever need a new product to try out. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!